Our session for the loft today um, is looking at strength spotting. And the session comes to you in partnership with the International School of Luxembourg. Um, in terms of our virtual protocols, they're really friendly. Um, please feel free to use the chat and exchange emails with each other. We have a hashtag for anyone who is using LinkedIn or Facebook, which is just ISL ECIS LOF to represent our collaboration. In terms of engagement, um, again, mute for the large group, but we are beautifully formed today. Um, video on, please, for breakouts if you can, just because it's nice to talk to people rather than just to a screen. Um, share the voice. And again, the chat provides a great opportunity to answer questions. And I think Kristen is going to do a little bit of Q&A at the end, time permitting. Um, I think for me, um, just to flag up a few upcoming events as well. So on the 20th of February, we have the lovely Pauline O'Brien, who is going to do our Middle Leader Cafe, looking at that step between middle and senior leadership. Um, on the 28th of Feb, we have an absolute treat with, for you with Kathleen Nagley and Tonya, who are going to do advice to my younger self as part of the um, Women Ed Special Interest Group. We've got AI in Education on the 6th of March and also Unveiling the Eye in Inclusion with Yasmeen um, on the 16th of April. So I think it would be fair to say we're springing into spring at ECIS and we've got a busy couple of months. Um, I'm going to introduce our guests now and Kristen, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Um, Nancy has given me a, a wonderful bio for you um, and we know that you're an organisational development consultant, you're also an ICF accredited coach and mentor. Um, your focus is very much on seeking out strengths in people, engaging people and looking at teamwork and adopting what people would describe as a solution focused approach. Um, you are the founder of the Sol Ross Development Group and Positivity Playground. Um, I'm going to hand over to you to tell us a little bit more and then to get us into the session. Sounds warm good. Welcome. Thank you so much, Helen. And hello, everybody. Before, I'll just say a big hello while we're all big on screen, because I know when I share my slides, we all go tiny. But I want to say thank you very much for being here. I appreciate that you've carved out time in your day for this. And I hope this will be a really uplifting session for you and also something practical that you can take away and use immediately with your colleagues and your students. So with that, I will share my screen and we'll jump right in. Let's see. Okay, there's the screen and I can see most of you still, which is great. Let me just do a little rearranging so I can see everyone. Perfect. Okay. So our topic for today is being a strength spotter. Um, what I have in mind for us today is a bit about why focus on strengths. So I'll share just a little bit about what the research says about all the great stuff that happens when we focus on strengths individually and as teams. And we'll use that information to go into a warm up activity where we'll go into our breakouts, introduce ourselves and talk a little bit about what I'm sharing about strengths. And then we'll go into a strength spotting exercise where we will do three rounds of the exercise, all working with the same group. So the first time we meet up with our breakout, we'll introduce ourselves and kind of set the stage. And then we'll do three rounds of the exercise. Then we'll come back for a debrief all together. And then I'll share some resources to apply and extend your learning if you would like to do that. Um, so let's start first by looking at what happens when we focus on strengths. Now I'm not going to read this to you. I'm going to encourage you to screenshot this because you'll need it in your breakout or take a photo. So I'll just give you a moment there. I'll pause if everybody could just take a screenshot or take a photo of this slide, please, because you're going to need it. And what you see here on the slide, um, 
are some of the golden nuggets from the research about what happens when we focus on strengths. There's been about 25 years of robust research into the science of strengths and into the, the outcomes that we can see and predict from focusing on strengths. On the left, you see uh, some of those outcomes for individuals and on the right, outcomes for teams. So knowing that you all have a screenshot or a photo of that, I'll move us into um, warming up together and going into our group. So in a moment, Abby will put us into the groups that we'll be working with today. I encourage everyone to share your name, your role, your school and your organization. And then looking at that list that you just took a screenshot or photo of, share with your group, what are maybe one or two things that kind of stand out for you on that list as really appealing right now? All right, so when you look at that, what 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 kind of jumps out to you to say, oh, that sounds really great. I would love to have more of that for myself right now or more of that for my team right now. And the, the important, that's important, but the also an important part of this is the why, right? So please share a little bit about why. Why is that important for you right now? So that's, that's the plan. You may also want a screenshot of this, um, but that's the plan, just who you are, where you are, and then what's standing out for you on that list. And we're going to go into a breakout. We'll have three or four people in our group. And uh, when you get there, I'm going to ask that you appoint a timekeeper. So somebody who has a strength of timekeeping <laughs> and speaking up is what we need. So if that person, you, if you can identify yourself when you get in the group and be there for your group today, timekeeping will be very important so that we can hear from everybody equally in our groups. So we'll go into our groups. We're going to have six minutes for the discussion, so that's two minutes per person, plus you'll get a 60 second countdown, which gives you a little wiggle room for saying a, getting organized and, and wrapping up. So hopefully we'll have groups of three, so you can each have two minutes to share and your timekeeper will help keep us on, on time. If you end up in a group of four, that's fine. Just please reduce the time per person to one and a half minutes. Okay, perfect. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I hope that was a nice chance to say hello and um, maybe meet somebody new or uh, see an old friend. Um, could I please ask so that we can, um, so, th so that I can get a sense for what's on your mind and also so we can see a little bit about what was happening in the other group. Could everybody please just write one sentence in the chat just to share your most appealing strength benefit? What, what is really resonating for you today from that lovely list of outcomes we see from focusing on strengths? Again, just in the chat, one sentence, what sounds good to you today? All right. Thanks, uh, Cam, for getting us started. And Vicki. Okay. Well-being, balance, creativity, innovation, happiness, confidence. Mm-hmm. Talent management. Okay, so we're seeing kind of a mix of the individual and the team benefits. That's great. Energy, well being, talent management, lovely. Okay, so a nice mix. And I hope that we can bring a little bit of that to you today through our exercise and that you will be able to carry that forward into your schools and organizations uh, as well. So let's jump right in. If everyone feels ready, we feel ready, start our exercise. Okay, so as I said, this is gonna be in three rounds. And honestly, it's a bit of a spoiler to tell you it's a strength spotting exercise because that's not normally the title of this slide, but that's the title Nancy and I wanted to use to say being a strength spotter. But normally this says something really generic like small group exercise, positive peer coaching in everyday life or something like that. But anyway, you know, it's a strength spotting exercise and that's okay. So here's what we're gonna do in the first round. We're gonna have three rounds, as I mentioned. The first one in, is going to be with the same people you just met with the same amount of time. So we'll go back in for six minutes plus 60 seconds. Each person will have two minutes to share. So who, who do we have as timekeepers? Who are our time optimizers in each group? Cam, and who's in the other group? Who's our timekeeper? 
we did, we just kept our eye on the what on the clock because it was ticking on the on the screen. So okay, beautiful. A self organizing timekeeping system. I love that. Okay, so let's keep keeping our eyes on the clock and Cam, your finger on the the timer because it's so important that everybody gets to share equally in these, right? So what we're going to do is each person again share for two minutes each about something that is really important to you. It can be a physical thing, it could be a digital thing, but think about what's something that's pretty much always within reach for you whenever you're doing something that's very important for you. I see everyone thinking, what's my thing? It might be near you now, right? What is something that that is usually within reach for you? If you can, I'm gonna ask you to show it to your group and tell what it means to you and tell about the impact that it helps you have. Why is this thing important? And how does it help you have an impact? And if you don't have the item near you, you can just describe it instead of showing it, okay? And we're gonna ask that each person shares for two minutes. That might sound like a long time, what I find is that often when we're talking about this thing we love, we have a lot to say about it, but sometimes we talk for a while and then we kind of run out of things to say. And I encourage you when, you're, when your team, when your group mates do that, if they pause for a minute, just give them some time and some space, right? In that pause, they might be thinking of something else they want to share or they might want to follow up on something that they just said. So let's really give the full two minutes to each other, even if that includes a little bit of sort of silence and thinking and unraveling our thoughts. And that's a nice way that we can really support each other and, and give some space to each other. And when you're listening, um, you can always say something like, what else? Or is there anything else? To let the person know that you're holding the space for them and, and encouraging them to, to think more. Um, if you do finish before the two minutes and you really feel like that's good, I've said what I wanna say, that's fine as well, right? And when we're observing, let's be really careful listeners and let's be really fully present, right? It's really eyes on the person, listening, um, really absorbing what they're sharing, right? Does that sound okay? Everyone understand the plan? Okay, so back into our groups, please go straight into it. First person, just volunteer and start sharing for two minutes. And let's talk about why is this thing so important for you? And what's the impact that it helps you have? And you're going to need what you hear in the next round. So let's be present and listen. Does anybody have questions before we go into our group? Okay, then Abby, if you could put us back into our same groups for the same amount of time, that would be great. Thank you, and we'll see you all back here soon. Okay, welcome back. Our other group should be back in two seconds, and then we'll continue. Okay, I see huge smiles. Helen and I were also doing this, so we're smiling hugely. My cheeks hurt. Did everyone get a chance to share in your groups? Beautiful. Okay, then let's move on to talking about what we're going to do in our next round with the same group. We're going to practice something called appreciative hypothesizing. So we've just been listening to each other. And while we were doing that, probably we were struck by things, probably things were, were inspiring us or impressing us, right? As we were listening to each other, there are probably things that we appreciated about the other person, right? And those might be clues to some strengths for those people. And I say might very intentionally, right? And that's why we use the word hypothesizing as well. So when we're working with strengths, it's important that we don't use it to label and pigeonhole people, put them in a box, right? But, but instead to, to use what we see and what we learn about each other as a basis for connection, and dialogue, and, and building understanding. But we do it in a, in a hypothetical way, right? Say, mm, I wonder about this, rather than say, that person must be blank. Say, I wonder, 
and, and we can share what made us wonder. So what we're going to do in our next round is practice this. We're going to go back into our same breakout groups. And it's going to be a little different. This time when it's your turn, you're going to turn off your camera and mute yourself. And the other people in your group are going to talk about you. Okay, so this is what we call positive gossip. So we're going to engage in some positive gossip using appreciative hypothesizing as our technique, right? So just to recap again, uh, you know, if Helen and Abby and I are in a group together and it's Helen's turn, then we would ask Helen to turn off her camera, turn off her um, mic, and then Abby and I would positively gossip about Helen. And she would just get to privately kind of soak it all in right? So what are we gossiping about? Here are some ideas for you. Based on what the person said when they were sharing about their important object, what are those things that were kind of coming up for you? What do you think maybe some of their strengths could be or skills or values? Maybe you got a window possibly into something that they value greatly or other internal resources right? What is it that seems like really drives this person, makes them tick, inspires them? And very importantly, why do you think that? What happened when they were sharing that makes you think that? What is the evidence, right? What did you, what did you see when you were being present? Did you notice their body language shift? Did they become more animated? when they were talking about certain things, were they smiling more? Those might be clues into strengths and other internal resources. What did you hear? What words were they using that gave you some ideas about maybe who, who this person is? What did you feel? Were you moved? Were you inspired? What, what were you feeling? Right? So when, when we're engaging in appreciative hypothesizing, it's all about things we appreciate. It's done tentatively as a maybe, right? And we talk about why we think that because then we're honing our skills of strength spotting and we're constantly looking for evidence and signs, which makes us better strength spotters. So as an example, here's how it could sound. Um, Helen, is it okay if I do this with you as my example? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Super. So, so Helen was sharing with me about her important object. Um, she shared two, actually. And as she was sharing um, about her, first of all, she said, um, I think one of the things that's always with me is my phone, but in a way that disconnects me from people. So I'm not going to choose my phone. And that made me think, ah, so relationships might be really important to her connection. Maybe relationship deepener is a strength of Helen's, maybe. And I said, I, my evidence is because of how she chose not to talk about her phone. Or um, when she talked about how she uses her pen when she's listening to people and, and how that helps her have an impact. It made me think, well, listening is probably, or could be a strength of hers, but also collaboration, a sense of mission and purpose those are some things I was hearing. And she talked about why the pen helps her really pay attention to what's important to the people she's talking with. She talked about how she always has her AirPods in and, and why that helps her stay focused. And I thought, ah, so focused or being centered might be strengths of hers. So that's what this can sound like. It's a might, it's all a maybe, right? And sharing the evidence, what was happening that, that made you think that? And again, we're not trying to label and we might be wrong. And we'll talk about that more later, right? But that, that's the activity. Feel free to take a photo or a screenshot here so that you can carry this into your breakout with you of what it, what it can look like to positively gossip. Yeah, and then we're gonna go in again to our same groups jump right into it, please. One person just say, I'll go first. And that person can turn off their camera and mic the other two people for two minutes, please positively gossip about that person. Keep it appreciative, keep it hypothetical. And let's see what we see. Okay. Any questions before we go? Okay. Enjoy. 
<laughs> it's harder and harder to to pull you away from your breakouts as this goes on. Did everybody get a chance to be gossiped about? Okay, great job on your timekeeping, super. So um, let me go into explaining what we'll do in our very last round, which is having a chance to respond individually. So for this round, same breakout groups, it'll be a shorter one. So this, this will be, um, what do we say? It'll just be three minutes and the 60 second countdown. So you'll each have one minute to respond. And this is so, so important when we engage in strength spotting and appreciative hypothesizing. Um, because we've shared observations, we've shared them with good intention, we've shared them from a place of appreciation, we've shared from our heart what impresses the person, but we don't really know how it's landing. We hope usually, I mean, we generally, we hope that it's landing well, that's our intention in the way we share, but we, we may have uh, made assumptions or our biases may be coming into even the way that we're, that we're strength spotting in people. And so it's so, so important that we do it hypothetically um, with curiosity. Helen and I were talking about this, that we come from a point place of genuine curiosity to get to know this person and not decide for ourselves, but to offer an observation for discussion and reflection. So if we've been hypothetical and appreciative in our last round, now's an opportunity for us to respond to our group. And it's possible that we might have gotten some things wrong, right? And so it's a great chance for us to be able to clarify, modify, highlight certain things. Sometimes people like to share um, how this made them feel. So there, you, you can respond in whatever way that you want to um, that is useful. And please know that when we do strength spot from a place of appreciation, curiosity, openness, being hypothetical with the best of intentions, and then we allow for dialogue and response, we can still build rapport. Even, even if we're, we didn't quite get it right, if we're genuinely curious and genuinely open, and our intention is to really get to know more about the other person, then it still can build relationships. So let's let's have a chance to kind of share back to our groups. When it's your turn, here are some ideas. You don't have to talk about all of these things or any of these things, but feel free to take a photo or a screenshot of these prompts if they're useful for you. When it's your turn, just you can share how did it feel for you? Were there any surprises? Is there anything that you would clarify or modify? Right? Oh, that word surprised me. I might use this word instead, but I, I get what you all were seeing, you know, as an example. So that's what we'll do for our last breakout. We're going to go in for three minutes plus 60 seconds, a quick round, all cameras on, um, all mics on, and one minute each to share uh, a response to your group. Okay. Welcome back. Did everybody get a chance to share? I hope. Yes. Okay. Um, so we just have a few minutes left, so I'm going to hustle us through closing, um, but I'd love to hear from you on this poll, um, the impact of our, of our exercise today. Um, I think Abby's going to drop the link in the chat, or you can scan this code. It's also, it's there in the chat. It's just a quick, you can write one, one thing, um, in there about what was the impact of this strength spotting for you today? for your well-being, for your energy, for the relationships here today. How did what we just did, how did what we just did, how did the thing we just did <laughs> um, impact you here today? Yeah, go to the link in the chat. I'm gonna come over to look at our results coming in. Oh, thanks, Sarah. I see your comment in the chat as well. Affirming, nice to spot strengths in others. Oh, that is beautiful. Someone felt like they've gained two friends. Me too. <laughs> I've never gotten to chat with Helen and that was absolutely delightful. And she even strength spotted in me, which I hardly ever have happened in this. Connections, good. We feel connected. Lovely. Yeah, finish, finish up. I'll give you a moment to finish up what you're typing. It's great to hear. How did this impact us here today?
Yeah, right. And we can, okay, thanks, Cam. <laughs> and we can, um, yeah, absolutely carry this into our everyday lives. Yeah, and we can become inspired by hearing from others. Good stuff. And isn't it amazing how deeply we can connect in such a short period of time with people that we we didn't know before? And and it's just a simple, simple thing that we can do anytime, right? Notice, notice a strength in someone, name it and be curious about it, right? Make an observation. Wow, it seems like you really love organizing yourself with technology. Has that always been the case, right? Just, just asking follow-up questions, deepening the relationships. Um, one important thing to keep in mind is culture here. So um, if we do want to facilitate this activity, we need to be thinking about differences in culture and how it may make people feel. There are many, many cultures in the world where be having the spotlight shining on you or talking about your own strengths can be very uncomfortable. It can be seen as bragging or inappropriate. So that's why this activity focuses on an item that we love so we can see strengths in action. Whereas you may see other, other activities that are sort of encouraging people to talk about a strength or a time when you used your strength. Those can be good, um, but they can also make people feel really uncomfortable. So an activity like this kind of has a, a neutral third point that gives people a chance to activate their strengths while talking about something that they love um, and hear feedback from other people hopefully in a safe space that we create together, but then also that response is so important, right? To give people a chance to respond in whatever they, way they want. And some people may simply say, thank you. Or some people say, might say that was a little uncomfortable, but they carry with them and can savor with them the things that people have spotted in them and appreciated with them. But let's do keep that in mind that um, while a lot of research that has been globally conducted shows that focusing on strengths is powerful, um, we want to be careful how we introduce it and, and, and offer options. Um, so with that, let me just finish up. Um, next steps, I encourage you to try this. So um, if you would like to receive our facilitation guide, um, then please just fill out our feedback and request form you see the link here on the, uh, in the chat and on the screen, and I will send a guide that explains how you could do this in person, adaptations, other considerations, um, how to make it an inclusive activity um, today. So if you can give me feedback today on the session, then I will thank you with a free facilitation guide. Also, um, please join us on the Positivity Playground. If this is interesting for you, um, this is resonating for you. We have much, much more available free learning resources on our online community hub. It just takes 30 seconds to create an account at positivityplayground.com. It's a community full of international educators who are looking to build strength-based solution-focused schools. And finally, once a month, I offer a free workshop for school leaders where you can have an experience with positive peer coaching. So if you'd like to try that, you can register on our website. Uh, which is soulrosedevelopment.com. And with that, I would like to say thank you to um, ISL ECIS Loft for inviting me, to Helen um, for hosting and for lovely chats in the breakout, for Nancy, who's not here, but did a lot of preparation um, to help us get to this point, and for everybody who joined today. And I hope this was helpful for you. I will stick around if you have questions, but I do want to be considerate of time. But again, big thanks for, for joining. And I hope that this lifted you up and gives you some ideas on how you can use this to lift up your colleagues and your students. Okay. A big, big thank you, Chris. I'm going to ask everybody just to unmute for, for two seconds, because this is the bit where we get to kind of be in the same room together and just give you a little kind of round of applause together where you can actually hear it. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, um, what what a wonderful you. session and what a wonderful group of people to, to spend the session with. So a huge thank you to you for kind of walking us through this and sharing your experience, your expertise. Um, I feel like I've got a huge amount out of it and I've really enjoyed 
the chance to to talk with you in the breakout. Um, I think a big thanks to Abby in the background. I know she's hiding behind the ECIS events screen, but none of this happens without Abby. So a, a big yes, thank you to you, Abby. Hi. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks. It was it was so seamless. I forgot to say thank you earlier, Abby. But thank you very uh, no much. No worries. Keeping that all mm, running in the background. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going to echo the thanks to Nancy. My my thanks go to Nancy for for letting me do this in her absence. Um, it's my first loft, and I've really really enjoyed it. So a big thank you to Nancy. She's a big pair of shoes to to fill, but it's been really enjoyable. I can see why she loves the loft so much. Um, yes, me and you're with us doing a loft in a few weeks, aren't you? So um, I shall look forward to seeing you again soon, but. I think your yeah. session on inclusion is going to be great. I don't know if you want to do a little shout out. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, you know, and just uh, maybe uh, doing a play of words with the I and inclusion, but there's a lot more to the I that I will be discussing in my session. So if you haven't signed up, please do. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, a, a great kind of thing to come and support under the loft as well. So thank you so much, Kristen. We'll be on for a few minutes afterwards for anybody who wants to stay behind. Um, but enjoy the rest of your evening, afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. And thanks again, Kristen.